Hi, this is Dr. John Nosti with your two minute rock to drill tip for today. Now, I get a lot of questions regarding, John, when do you use a triple tray in your practice? And quite honestly, I use triple trays daily in my office. The criteria to use a triple tray are these. Number one, I'm dealing with a patient who's occlusally stable. So I'm going to build my dentistry into their existing occlusion. That means to me, I'm doing something less than three units of indirect dentistry. If I'm doing a single or two crowns that are next to one another, I will use a triple tray all day long. There's some criteria though regarding that triple tray that I feel is important. Number one, it's using a triple tray that is rigid enough that if my patient bites into it, they're either gonna deflect off of it, they're not gonna be able to warp the impression tray because typical plastic triple tray impressions or trays, when they bite into the tray, the tray flexes a little bit, then you're taking the impression, you don't know it, and then when they open, the tray flexes back, and now your impression's distorted. Quite often, this is not something that typically you're gonna notice in your practice that day, but you're gonna get a phone call from the lab because the teeth are gonna look slightly oblong, they're going to look different, it's gonna be impression that's not usable. So number one, use a very rigid tray. Number two, you have to use a tray that's extended far enough that you pick up the canine on that side at least. And if you can pick up the opposing canine or the contralateral canine, that's great too. So the second thing is to make sure that your tray picks up the canine on that side so the lab can do the working movement to that side to get the buccal cusps or lingual cusps, the height built properly. So that's Dr. John teaching you your tip of when and how to use a triple tray.